Hey everybody, welcome back. Sean Helms here. And now that my Mavic Air 2's newness has worn off and I'm pretty much sick of flying around my neighborhood, and I'm pretty much sure you're tired of seeing me fly around my neighborhood, uh, I've been looking for other places to fly. But now that I've been looking for other places, I don't feel comfortable carrying my Mavic Air 2 in the case that came with the Fly More Combo. Therefore, I started looking around. And while we were on a shopping spree with my wife and my sister and my brother-in-law and spending all day, we did get the opportunity to go into Harbor Freight where I found these cases. Now these cases were not intended for camera equipment or at least they don't advertise them there as such, but they're removable foam tablets that you can remove or squares that you can remove from it to contour any of the equipment that you use. And you can get these small, you can get the medium, you can get a large, the extra large, and you can also get one like a carry-on luggage case with a pull-out handle with wheels and you can carry a lot more gear in it as well. But I found this Apache 3800 that is perfect for my Mavic Air 2 and I'll probably go back and get more. Now these same sorts of cases when you buy them on Amazon are significantly more expensive on average and I like these because you can pretty much mold them to your own liking. So the Apache 1800 weatherproof protective case in small only goes for $12.99. That can put one camera in it at least and maybe some memory cards if that's what you want. And then the 2800 the Apache is a medium case and you can put your maybe a lens and a camera or you could also put your Mavic Mini in and a remote control. And here I have the Apache 3800 and this thing is perfect for what I need it. Now these foam layers actually are in three different segments. So you know you've got the bottom that is still cushioned. So there is cushion on the bottom of this remote here and then everything else has obviously cushioned below it. So I've only really using two tiers of this foam. Now I do suggest that you buy some cloth glue, go to Michael's or any type of fabric store, Walmart, and get some glue because you're gonna break some of these squares away from the other one and you're gonna want them to be connected to make the you know, proper fit for all of your gear. So you can glue all of the squares together and that way you know they'll always maintain their shape and when you're removing everything and putting it back in it doesn't eventually come loose so that was one tip that I've already learned my lesson from to go ahead and get the fabric glue and make sure that you foam uh, gluing these foam pieces together one other tip that I highly suggest is to make sure you don't throw your foam squares away because I've already found myself going back into my stock of foam squares and gluing some more back into places to make sure I have more of a snug fit for some of the gear. And later on down the road, I could actually alter things a little bit better and if I change any of my gear up. The small compartment in the middle holds my battery charger, my battery cables. I also have uh, room for my external USB charger for the batteries. I've got a slot here for my ND filters and I've got a longer slot for the charger itself and all of my batteries and if I wanted to I could move actually these over fill them back in and get a fourth battery and then of course a fifth battery would actually fit inside the drone. I can also contour the case so I don't have to take off my joysticks off of the controller because they're not being touched or any strain on them whatsoever. There's Many opportunities to alter this and even after the fact, so if you feel like you've made a mistake, don't worry, you can go back and fix it. Hint, the fabric glue will save the day. Now the Apache 3800 case, they have the tan, they have the black, they have the orange. So if you want to color code any of your gear, you know, if you're an Autel Evo type person and you like the orange, then get the orange case. Black seems to work well for me you could probably get tan probably work pretty well with this or if you use skins for any of your drones and you want to color code everything then by all means there are some options for you out there now the Apache 4800 comes in orange tan yellow black and green and they're really nice looking cases as well and I might get a green one for my Mavic 2 Pro because I'm thinking about skinning it in a military fashion so that would be a great case for me now from the smallest to largest case, 
You have $12.99 for the small case. You have $27.99 for the medium. And then you have $36.99 for the large cases, which is what you see here in front of you. And then you also have the 4800 and those go for $54.99. And then for the luggage carry-on, you're looking at $89.99, which is a really good price and all of your gear stays protected. So if you're like me and you like to save a little bit of money, then take the time to personalize a case to your liking, to colorize with your, your gear. And you know, like I said, it's not just for drones. Camera equipment is perfect for this stuff too. I mean, it protects it, it's water resistant. So you can either use padlocks or you can use like a bicycle lock to keep from your gear walking away. And the handles are really strong. The case is in great shape. It's very sturdy, it's very thick plastic. And the, the hinges on them don't look like they're ever gonna give way. So, I mean, I'm very happy with the case and I just wanted to share this with everybody. Um, I'm not going to put a link to Amazon. I just wanted, I told everybody that, you know, I go to these forums and everybody's talking about, show me your case. Can you find a case that can carry two drones or three or all of my camera equipment? Well, yeah, you can. You can go to Harbor Freight or go online to Harbor Freight and order any size case that you want to work with and then personalize the foam to your gear and you're off to the races. So, if you find this useful, please hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, and keep an eye out for upcoming content. Got a lot of drone content coming up here. We're going to be doing a lot of flying. Not so much in the last few days here in the northern panhandle of Florida because it has done nothing but rain. And I know it'll eventually go away, but I'm just waiting for it. I'm like a little kid. I look outside every morning to see what the weather is going to look like for I have a break in the weather so I can get the drone up for at least a few minutes. But I think I'm just going to slow down a little bit, take my time so I don't rush into anything and ruin my drones because that's what this is all about, protecting your gear. And so be patient, be safe, fly smart, and I'll see you all next week.